Okay, so today what I'm going to do is we're going to have a look at the difference between uh, DAS and Character Creator. So the first thing I'm going to have a look at is DAS, DAS 8, Gen 8 characters. So here's a, a Gen 8 character that I've exported into Unity URP. Uh, she looks all right, but when, when you get close, like this is a straight export, um, her face gets a bit messed up too much, uh, bump for this particular character, but I'm pretty sure I could fix that in, if I went to the materials and sorted it, but this is just a raw export. Uh, so there's that. I uh, also might note that her hands are normal, uh, so her skeleton is actually good, and um, so Gen 8 characters are actually pretty good. So I'll have a look at another. So this is another Gen 8 character straight from uh, DAS Studio. So one of the big advantages of DAS Studio is that uh, you can apply morphs to them essentially. So uh, what I can do is if I grab, uh, so grab that character uh, in the scene and grab a character like this for example uh, and then what I can do is I can uh, give him turn on all the different set of armors, for example. Uh, I think that'll do the trick. Um, and so what I can do is if I select all, uh, most of all the pieces, what I can do is I can, I can sort of morph him and change him into uh, like a different character. So if you wanted him to be like skinny, uh, for example, you can change that. Um, all the morphs for the uh, armor and all that sort of sort of go in there. So if I make him portly, for example, you know, portly. Here we go. You might notice that everything sort of uh, uh, sorry, everything sort of changes with him. Um, so you can get a huge number of variety of different characters. Um, so you can even make him a bit fatter. Uh, that's actually the pregnancy morph, but um, yeah, it's one of the one of the interesting things you can do. Um, so you can have a completely different character. You can even like change how the face looks. So you can have like a different, I'm not sure how obvious that is for changing. Um, see if there's any others in here that I can change to make it a bit more obvious. How you can create different sort of so that one's actually making him taller as well. And you might notice that everything sort of moves with him as he goes taller when you've got them all selected. Uh, so that's probably like the big power of, of the big difference between Daz and Character Studio. I don't have character morphs like this one uh, that I can dynamically change um, in game for, um, uh, for, for body morphs. So CC characters, they have... Um, they have a lot of like facial morphs, uh, like, you know, surprised and shock. Uh, it has that as well, but um, uh, this one does not. So if I can just find this one, I just wanted to have a look at that was really changed quite a lot. Uh, if I can find it on here, uh, the underbelly one, so I can do this to make him look a lot different sort of thing. Um, so, as I said, like I exported him with a lot of different clothes and, and thingy options so I can change it completely. Um, if, the character's, uh, if the character wants to have children, then I can um, fairly easily, um, uh, like, you know, all the children can look similar to, to um, say, like, like this guy over here has kids, then that can be one of his kids, maybe. <laughs> And that sort of thing. So that, that's the power of uh, essentially um, uh, DAS. So another thing you can do, so let's have a little look over here. So I'll have a look at character creator now. So this is a character brought straight, like one of their, their start ones, looks fantastic, looks absolutely amazing. So that's what I mean uh, when I say that um, like the, uh, basically the skin shaders and the eyes look a lot better um in from characters studio oh sorry a character creator um exports so this character here um so she's she's uh exported from daz to character studio 
Uh, and so like, that's just a straight export. So you can see that our eyes are kind of plain, not as good as these ones. And this one, I've added eyes to her. Uh, I haven't got the eyes quite correct. Uh, so they look a little bit funny in here, but um, so you can see the difference between here and here. Uh, and this one's a straight uh, one grab from Daz Studio. So uh, I have to delete the, the uh, mouth bone and then she'd have it closed and look a little bit more normal. But um, you can sort of see the difference between, like that's a character creator one and this one's a, a Daz created straight from Daz. But again, so like with these characters, you don't get options with all the morphs. Um, so you can change, you can't change the bodies, whereas, whereas these do. The other problem with like Daz 9 characters, you can see like the hand and the skeletons um, are particularly great for um, like when, uh, the export. So like a lot of animations, you're going to have problems with them. Uh, so I found the Daz 8 characters, like if you have a look at the hand here, it's, it's still kind of normal. So I generally go for Daz 8 characters uh, and then do lots of different morphs uh, with them, creating like new characters like that guy over there. Um, uh, and so the other thing is, so this is a straight, she's a straight Daz 9 export. Um, and like honestly, she looks pretty good. Um, obviously her eyes aren't, aren't sort of perfect, but uh, still, not not too bad. Uh, I tried doing the combination where, um, you know, can I grab the skin and just put it on the Daz character? Can I grab the eyes and put it on there? So I haven't haven't found a way to be able to like just grab. So the skin, um, when when you bring it in, has a different UV coordinates. So UV coordinates. So uh, the baking process in uh, Character Creator sort of has completely different UV. So if you applied it back to this one, it would look. Uh, look wrong on her. Uh, another thing is like the hair as well. Like the hair looks much better from uh, uh, character um, character creator than it does straight from Daz. Uh, but armor and stuff like that's a bit more sparkly uh, in Daz than it is on here. A lot more plain. But uh, I guess you probably want people looking at the face rather than more than the armor. Uh, so it's probably not such a bad thing. Uh, and the other thing is you could probably, I could probably fix it, so make it all this sparkly anyway uh, inside there, but I haven't uh, done that yet. So if we just hop out of there. Um, so just a quick look at um, how we do it. So for a dad's character, like I've, uh, particularly the male one here, I've uh, put every bit of clothing on him, sort of, well, a fair chunk of clothing on him, uh, as you can see. So he can like wear all sorts of different stuff. This is kind of a quick way of doing it uh, so that all the, all the clothes conform with him and move with him. And every one of the clothes also has the morphs as well. Uh, you'll need to, um, uh, so when, Sorry, when you get into character creators, you can just see like, so that character was brought in here. You can see how it looks fantastic in, in character um, creator. So, uh, and I mean, it looks great. Like, I mean, for Dad Studio, I mean, that's just the, um, so if I rendered him out, he, he looks awesome. It's just the editing view that that's, uh, he looks a little bit perhaps dodgy. And so, um, yeah, but look at that, it looks good. So with this, uh, I've obviously replaced the eyes. Uh, so it's pretty pretty easy. You just get into the eyes, wherever the hell that is, and just uh, give him a new set. Uh, I just don't remember where the heck it is. Um, so probably in here somewhere, eyes. So you can just, like, essentially you can just double click. Give him a new set of eyes, and then you got new eyes to replace them. For the for the Gen Nine, um, I also had to replace the, the eyebrows as well. The eyebrows were a bit uh, a bit of a joke as well when they came in. They looked they looked terrible, so replaced them. Uh, and then when I put him back in here, so that's the uh, character. Uh, creative version, and this is the Daz 
DAS version. So, um, yeah. Um, so, just going back to that, you can see that turns out all right when you render him. Um, so, you, you essentially, like in in DAS Studio, you make sure you've got your Genesis 9 pose, put it on him, then it's just a simple matter of exporting. Um, you don't have to export any of the morphs because it won't won't show up. Um, so you just export him. Uh, actually I actually might just show you the, uh, so if I was going to export him, I'd go like that. Yes. And then these are generally the options I have for um, doing it. I mean, I do have include morphs, but uh, the morphs aren't really used in, um, in CC, in Character Creator. So it's a bit of an issue. Um, so what else? So I bring that in. Uh, like when you when you grab it, you'd need to go transformer CC three plus, grab that, and then it'll it'll get take you through the baking process. Uh, then you grab that, then you export um, uh, as FBX close character etc. Go that export, then you run uh, CC import process here to get to get it in there and then have it looking great. So an ideal scenario would be as if we could somehow steal the skin from here and put it on the Daz characters or steal the eyes and put it on the Daz characters. But uh, as yet, I haven't figured out how to do that. Um, so I might do some tricky things like so when characters, if you if you have a have a talk with them, like they'll look like this. Um, uh, for the cutscenes, uh, but if the character needs morphs, um, then I might, and like in inside the game, I'd probably swap it out with that one, uh, morph her up, put her uh, and all, uh, put her, all the morphs on, and that sort of thing. Uh, and so, um, yeah, so you can age her and and all that sort of stuff. Uh, so she'll start looking like that. It won't look as good as the original version, but. Um, I think the character probably, like, most of the time should look like this. Uh, then the character will probably move on to somebody else sort of thing. Um, and then, you know, uh, probably won't come back too often. Uh, so what else? All right, so one last thing. I'll just show you uh, also. Uh, so Salsa Lip Sync also works uh, for all of these characters. So for whether it's, um, whether it's CC or, or not CC. Uh, so if I just select her and add, um, right, so wherever she is, Kemi. So I've got um, Salsa one, one click Persephone set up on her. Persephone has made a mistake though. She's running late and the words that bind me and so you can keep me from killing you have expired. So here we are. So the so it works fine to so be able to talk. Um, all the CC characters will be able to do that just fine. Um, sorry, oh, I should have actually set that up in here. So the other one talks fine too. Uh, where is she? So sorry, too many things running. Oh, anyway, so I think that probably uh, about ends it. I suppose uh, there's nothing else really. Want to talk about, but if you can find a way, yes, he was talking about with funny eyes. Um, so, uh, yeah, I'd, I'd need to fix them like some of the Gen 9 ones. Uh, the eyes just don't go straight in, you have to shrink them and, and do a, a little bit more work for them to work. Um, so yeah, I think that wraps it up. Thank you.